It took me a really long time to really identify myself as a veteran because when somebody describes a veteran, uh, they're not describing me. They're not describing somebody that looks like me or anything like that. My daughter actually had an experience a couple weeks back at school. They were all talking about what their moms and dads did for a living and she told them that uh, my mom's in the army and this little boy did not believe her. Like he put her in tears, was calling her a liar and everything. This little boy didn't understand that like women are soldiers too. And that kind of made me sad because I feel like in 2021 there should be a better perception of what a soldier looks like. When I was 17 years old and I decided I needed to really start thinking about my future and where I wanted my life to go, I decided the military and the Army was really the only branch I considered. I was really fortunate when I was active duty. My first duty station was in Germany. So when I was 18 years old, I moved to Germany. That in itself was just this amazing experience uh, to really get out of Michigan, to get out and really see how other people in the world live. The military and the army in itself is kind of behind as far as equality goes. They've made a lot of headway, but we're still not quite where we need to be. Being a female serving, I've been a giant inconvenience the entire time. And um, they made sure to let you know that you were an inconvenience. And then anytime I would do something well, it was because for whatever reason, it was either an easier task or somehow I had an upper hand. It was never just me doing a good job. And if there was something that was difficult and I needed assistance with, which is the reality of males and females alike, um, sometimes you just need help doing something or you don't know how to do it. It was because I was a female. It was never just because I didn't know how to do it. I felt like I had to work 10 times as hard to get a quarter of the respect that the males got. My advice to any woman that serves is uh, befriend your female vets with you. Stay close, look after each other. When I was transitioning off active duty and moving back to the States, my ex-husband and I struggled to find employment. He is a veteran as well. There was this giant misconception of the military. It's what they've seen on TV, the yelling and the constantly running around. And it's not always like that. I think that you need to ignore the stereotypes because like any other prospective employee that's coming into an interview, we're all very different. We all bring great experience to the table and really looking at our experience and who we are as an individual, like you would any other person who was not serving is really important. We were just working really hard to better ourselves in it. I felt like no matter what we did, it didn't matter. And it got to the point where we were nearly evicted from our apartment and we wouldn't have anywhere to go. Luckily, we had uh, stumbled on the VFW National Home for Children. We were accepted into that program, which really helped us get on our feet. It allowed me to finish my degree. It allowed me to have time to find better employment, which I did. They provided daycare for us, which was a huge help for us. It was really hard to uh, accept that I needed that help and that support, but I had to swallow my pride for the sake of my children. and. I would do it all over again.